Welcome to the Math Kingdom. Welcome to the Math Kingdom, everyone, where we conquer math one step at a time. Let's get ready for today's lesson. Today, we are diving into place value and decimals. Have you ever wondered what happens when we go beyond the decimal point? Why does moving one place left or right change a number's value? Let's break it down. Place value tells us the value of each digit in a number. Let's start with a whole number, 7,432. Now we already got it in the place value chart. So we see seven in the thousands place. All right. And what that means is that it's 7,000. Next, we have the four in the hundreds place. What that means is 400. Next, we have three in the tens place. What that means is 30. And last, we got two in the ones place. But what happens when we go past the decimal point? That's when things get interesting. All right, so 7,432 in the expanded form is 7,000 plus 400 plus 30 plus 2. All right, so we got a new number on the screen. Decimals extend the place value system beyond just whole numbers. Let's look at this number here. We have 4, 2, 8, 5, and the decimals in between the 4 and 2. The way we read it is 4 and 285 thousandths. We have 4 in the ones place, 2 in the tenths place, 8 in the hundredths place, and 5 in the thousandths place. The four in the ones place means it represents four whole units. The two in the tenths place means two tenths or two out of 10. The eight in the hundreds place means eight out of a hundred and the five in the thousandths place means five out of a thousand. Here's the decimal and fraction equivalents of each of those numbers based on their place value. Each decimal place is 10 times smaller than the one before it. That's why moving the decimal point changes a number's value. Let's compare 57 hundredths and 6 tenths. But first, let's go ahead and put it in our place value chart. So 57 hundredths means we have no ones, 5 tenths, 7 hundredths. And then six tenths means we have no ones and we have six tenths. Now, they're not all the way to the same place value. So when you don't have a number in a place value and you're comparing, you can go ahead and put a zero to represent it, like a placeholder. When comparing decimals, not only do you wanna make sure that they're to the same place value. You wanna make sure they're lined up vertically by each place value and by the decimal point. So now we can compare. All right, so we um, start from the left and go right in our comparison. Now, they are the same in the ones place, so that gets crossed out. The first place they are different is the tenths place. So we see which one's bigger, five or six. That's right, six is bigger. So since six is bigger, we know that this whole number, this whole decimal value is bigger. So that means six tenths is greater than 57 hundredths. Remember, adding a zero to the end of a decimal doesn't change its value. It just helps us compare. All right, we got our new number here, five and 406 thousandths. 
Now, what place value is the four in? That's right. The four is in the tenths place. Okay. All right. Now, let's try this one. Which is greater, 72 hundredths or 702 thousandths? Don't forget to do the process. Did you line them up vertically by decimal and place value? Did you put your zero placeholders when needed? All right. Same, same first place that's different. Which one is greater? In the hundreds place, two. So that means 72 hundredths is greater than 702 thousandths. Awesome. Let's wrap up and review what we have learned. Today, we explored place value in decimals. We learned that each digit's value depends on its place, whether in whole numbers or decimals. Whole numbers increase in value as you move left, and decimals get smaller as you move right. Comparing decimals is all about lining up place values. Keep practicing, and you'll become a pro. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more math learning adventures. See you next time in the math kingdom. Bye.